Hey there. Have you ever had something happen that's never happened to you before that you've never seen in thousands of hours of playthrough and also that 99% of the community hasn't seen before? Yes, that's a bold claim to make, but I have some proof to back it up that I'll show at the end. Uh, I was playing a game of EU4 with some friends of mine a little while back and we had this happen to us. Holy shit, what happened? Hold on, what? Burgundy inherited Austria. What the Burgundy fuck? Burgundy is under the Palatinate fuck! That was the whole purpose of this goal, was to make me eligible so I could end the rivalry. <laughs> what just happened? Alright, alright, I'm done with this game. Fuck this shit. This guy- what? So, okay, so the Burgundian inheritance happened and they inherited Austria. Oh my god. That's oh cursed. Oh my god, since fucking <laughs> war against Britanni, co-belligeranting Aragon, <laughs> To get Burgundy, so I can end my rivalry with them and end their alliance with Austria. Then the first fucking thing was I <laughs> lost against Burgundy because ah, Castile wasn't doing jack shit. Second thing, Burgundy got PU on Austria, which made my war score fucking ridiculously lower, so I couldn't end my rivalry with them. Third thing, Palatinate then got the Burgundian inheritance, and that was the whole fucking point of this war. And they inherited wow. Austria. I've never seen them inherit ah. Austria, though. How does that happen? Because inherit all any subjects. subjects that they have gets in, uh, integrated automatically when they <gasps> become a Actually? Team. Yes. Yeah. No way. That's insane. It's very exploitable. That's how you annex all of France for free. How did? Okay, first off, how did the PU happen where Burgundy got Austria as a PU? PU? What happened there? Random chance. Austria died. Austrian king died without an heir. Uh, so the next thing that occurred was, I guess, they had a royal marriage with Burgundy, or they shared a dynasty, either or. That's um, wild. And they just inherited them. And it happened that. to be the succession triggered at some point? Man, I've never seen that happen in, like, how many hours have I got here? Uh, 3,000, probably. A little less. 2,600. I'm pretty close to three. But, like, in that many hours, I've never seen this happen. So, in summary, Austria was auto-inherited by Burgundy. Burgundy had the Burgundian inheritance happen, which auto-inherits all vassals and uh, NPUs. And Austria was a PU of Burgundy because of uh, the ruler dying uh, and royal marriage and, and whatnot, or uh, same heir. One of the one of the things happened there. So basically, they got auto inherited. And I mentioned at the beginning that 99% of players hadn't seen this, and we put this to the test and made a Reddit post a little while back, um, mentioning. I've never seen this before, and if you go through the comments on that Reddit post, yes, some people had said they've seen it or something similar, but if you go down, a lot of people mentioned over 3,000 hours I've never seen this before or heard of it or it being even possible. So there you have it. Uh, what's happened here today is pretty rare and not many people have seen it, but if you've seen it, let me know in the comments down below. Anyways, thank you for watching this video. really appreciate it. Uh, I would love it if you could subscribe. We're trying to grow this channel. We're pretty uh, small, but uh, what I mostly am doing is streaming on Twitch, but I'm also wanting to do more videos on YouTube. If this gets enough attention, uh, I might consider doing more of it. Anyways, thank you. What? I'm fucking done with this game. Have a good night, guys.